What up guys, welcome to Game Over Entertainment. Today we're talking about Life is Strange once again. The season finale is upon us and um, I see some terrible things happening to our main characters in this one, okay? So just brace yourselves people because if there's one message that Life is Strange is drilling constantly into our heads is that Chloe will die, all right? Every sequential episode we had so far, Chloe has met her end. And just to take you back through Mirrorly Lane, episode one, shot by Nathan. Episode two, ran over by a train. And episode three, Max using the photo rewind. And the consequences of that carried over into episode four, where she could either die by respiratory failure due to her paralyzed state, which is rumored to also be caused by Nathan Prescott, or she can die by Max giving her an overdose as a merciful way out. And then we have episode four, most recently the ending where she gets shot in the dome. No matter what Max does, you know, there's always a consequence. And the consequence seems to be that Chloe still ends up getting killed. And Chloe's currently dead right now, but I can pretty much guarantee that Max is going to bring her back some type of way. There's a lot of other theories out there circling about that uh, can explain this. But eventually Max is going to arrive at this problem. She may come to that realization during this final episode that no matter what she does, she cannot save her friend. And it's going to be pretty heartfelt. It's going to be pretty uh, sad when she actually does figure this. And every time she does go back and try to change something, she's essentially destroying the world around her. It will be the end of the world if Max keeps going at this rate. We've already seen the snow falling when it's out of season. We see an eclipse happen, an astrological event happen that's not supposed to. We've seen these whales wash up shore dead. We've seen all these birds falling out of the sky. Also, there are two moons in the sky in episode four. And now we got this big ass storm coming at us on Friday. And I'm willing to bet when Max uses her rewind powers to save Chloe again, in episode five, that's probably gonna be the catalyst that starts up the storm. Max is probably gonna to come to the conclusion that all these things happening are her fault. She's the director of this chaos, even though it is indirectly. She doesn't want this to happen, but hey, you can't mess with time like this. So she probably gonna say her final goodbyes, have to let go, or maybe there's some other option out there where Max can actually take the L instead of Chloe, where she can sacrifice herself so Chloe can live if that is a possibility out there but um also why i'm thinking this theory is true as well is because um in life is strange season two and the rumors that i've heard so far um it says this will take place in a different location with different characters now why would they already announce that if they already have these two characters chloe and max that everybody loves and everybody enjoys it's because they can't go forward if the main characters are dead so that means Die Not Entertainment has unrestricted access to do whatever they want to with these characters. If they feel like Max or Chloe dying off in the season finale comes to a more satisfying conclusion, then they have the option to do that now because they don't need them for the second season. Basically what I'm saying here is if you're a fan of Chloe, then get your Kleenex ready before playing episode 5 because it could get very emotional. Or maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think there is a way for Max to save Chloe for good. Either way, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. <laughs>